let's take a minute to talk about PCI compliance. It's no secret that identity theft has become a huge concern for anyone doing business on the web. Unfortunately, there are far too many careless online merchants who improperly handle sensitive customer data and countless unscrupulous individuals who are eager to take advantage of the situation. PCI Data Security Standards, or Payment Card Industry Security Standards, are a way that the industry is trying to deal with this situation. So what is PCI, really? Well, the first thing I would recommend is you get familiar with this site, that you go to PCICompliance.org. The sole purpose for this site is to convey what's going on with PCI, what it's about, and how you can go about becoming PCI certified. What does that mean? That means that your site is tested by a certifier, and if it's passed, then you can put the fact that you're PCI compliant on your site, and that may help customers feel at ease. The next thing we want to do is let's go ahead to this page, the PCI Basics page, and it basically lays out what it means to be PCI compliant and what you need to be concerned with as far as getting your site ready to be passed. So let's go ahead and look at the various requirements and see what can be done about it. First, build and maintain a secure network. And we see in the requirements one and two here that the firewall and configuration of the protecting data and that sort of thing, that's up to your host. And so you need to have a frank discussion with your host about the fact that you're looking to become PCI compliant with your site and make sure that they're knowledgeable on the subject and know how to work with you and make sure that they have created an environment that can pass. Next, requirement two says, do not use vendor supplied default or system passwords. Well, that's absolutely true. In your database, your FTP, your administrator on your site, all that should be changed from anything that's vendor supplied. And not only should it be changed when you first install it, but it should be changed frequently or at least on a regular basis to keep it from being guessed or passed around. Next, protect cardholder data. Well, we've already talked about how important that is. The best way to protect it is don't have it. So make sure that it's not stored in the database. Whatever cart software you choose, make sure that this is not stored, that it's simply passed off to your payment gateway and then gotten rid of. Also, requirement four mentions encrypt your transmission. Well, we've talked about that as well. Make sure you have an SSL certificate purchased and installed in the root directory of your site so that all transmissions of cardholder data across the web are encrypted. So maintain a vulnerability management system. Those points are both pretty much handled by your host. Again, it's so crucial to have a good host in this situation. Then implement strong access control measures. Well, if you don't store credit card data, then it offloads a lot of that responsibility. You should still protect the information in your database because it is phone numbers and addresses. So make sure that you follow the guidelines here in 7, 8, and 9. But the main thing is restricting physical access to card data and that sort of thing. If we don't store it, we don't have to worry about protecting it. Then monitor and test networks. Again, that's up to your host. Finally, maintain an information and security policy. That is important. Set a policy and make a policy statement available on your website so your customers know how you respect their rights and how you're going to deal with any information they give you. So the next thing we'll want to look at is here, the PCI Security Standards Council, and they have a list of scanning vendors. What a scanning vendor is, is these are companies that are certified by the council to scan and test sites and then hand out certification to the sites that pass the test. As you can see, there's a lot of them, pages and pages of them. The thing is, right now, this is kind of a moving target. The security scans that they use are scanning for basically the same things, but the way they do it and what their requirements are can vary widely. Some have no problem passing a site on a shared host that's well secured and has good security in place. Others refuse to pass anything but a totally locked down dedicated server. And then there's various stages in between. So how do you know which one to pick? Well, the important thing would be ask around. Whatever your shopping cart application that you're using, go to their forums, ask around, see who's gotten certified, what companies they use, what kind of trouble or situation